face to face. Facing your partner while you fuck is the position preferred over all others by most gay men. You can look at each other, you can kiss, you can read each other's face for cues or just for the visible signs of pleasure given and received. For some men, face to face is also the position that enables the deepest possible penetration. Some men find the penetration too deep. Others dislike getting fucked in this position because they feel passive or feminized, while for others, the passivity is a turn on. Some object to face to face fucking on more practical grounds. Their legs become cramped. If sex goes on for a long time, the man on the bottom may get tired of having his legs up, hooked over his partner's shoulders, and his knees pressed to his own chest. If you're doing the fucking, when you are both fully aroused and at ease, stimulate and relax your partner's anus with your finger and insert a lubricant into his asshole. Then after you've put on a condom, he's ready to be fucked. See condoms. Formerly, many men like to rim the asshole since tongue stimulation is highly pleasurable to both parties. The saliva also serves as a good lubricant. Unfortunately, it also increases the chance of transmitting parasites and other STDs. Felching, sexually transmitted diseases, sit on my face, Kneel between his legs, lift his ankles, and place them on your shoulders. He may prefer his right foot hooked over your shoulder, his left foot below, wrapped around your back. This position gives more flexibility, and it places his asshole at a slightly different angle in relation to your cock, which may ease entry. While fucking face-to-face -face can be the most exciting of sexual acts between men, getting inside in this position is where most problems occur. Guys of different sizes, shapes, and weights can often encounter problems. With a little patience and a will to succeed, no problem is insuperable. You may be really raring to go, but you should calm down and be tolerant of your partner's comfort. You'll both enjoy it better. Entry should be slow and gentle, allowing his sphincter muscles to relax to accommodate your cock. Once you are all the way in and he feels comfortable, you can bend over and kiss or tongue any part of his upper body. And if you both are comfy, you may also be ready to try hard thrust fucking, some men really like that and shout and slap each other's buttocks to increase the excitement as they get closer to climax. See spanking. If you're both agile and your bodies fit together in a particular way, it may also be possible to fuck and suck him at the same time. Sit back on your heels, simultaneously pulling your partner up onto your lap. He should wrap his legs around your waist. Then lower his legs. The more direct the pressure against his prostate gland, the more pressure and thus pleasure he feels. He should not try to sit up to fold his arms around your neck, that's another position with its own merits, but should continue to lie on his back on the mattress with his pelvic area propped up on your thighs. If you now bend your head down to his crotch, you should be able to suck his cock. You may have to angle his cock down, or you may have to use your other hand to form an extension to your mouth. See blowjob. You won't be able to deep thrust in this position, but you can get some movement. Try this. As you pull out your cock, go down on him. As you push back in, lift your mouth away, or you can jerk him off as you fuck. For deep fucking, bend him back until his knees nearly touch his shoulders. His weight will rest on his spine and neck, and his ass will stick straight up. Go up on your toes and fingertips as though doing push-ups. Grasp his ankles and open his legs wide without forcing. You may have to balance yourself by shifting your weight from your toes to your knees. Another position, stand or half crouch on the floor beside the bed, you may want to elevate your partner slightly by placing a pillow under him. His back will rest on the mattress, but his legs will be straight up against your chest. To avoid losing your balance, lean over and steady yourself against the wall. An alternative is for you to grab his ankles and open his legs as wide as possible, relying on the resistance of his body to keep you from falling over on top of him. If you're strong, you can even lift your partner off the bed and carry him around while still inside him. If you are the one getting fucked, be sure to communicate what you are feeling to your partner. Say your legs or back begin to ache. Don't grin and bear it. Tell him you want to rest or to try some other position. If your partner is masturbating you and you sense you're about to come, gently move his hand away and jerk yourself off. This will help you achieve an orgasm simultaneous with his. No matter what you're seeing, being fucked takes getting used to 